Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Samax Code. And in this video guys, we're going to uh, discuss the practical approach on how to implement the file chooser in a JavaFX application. So let's start from the uh, very beginning, of course. Um, let's create a new project and then uh, choose the JavaFX of XML application. And we can name our um, project as file chooser demo and then the fxml name uh, main and of course we're going to create the create um, application class so I'm just going to add the package name as org samax code and demo and then of course the main java file okay click on finish and I think, guys, if you are following with my JavaFX tutorial, you know by now how to create your own JavaFX project. So basically, uh, we created a new project right here. And then we have like three files available for us, the main.fxml, main Java, and of course, main controller.java file. And now let's open up first the main.fxml file in the scene builder uh, application. So open up main.fxml and um, of course this is the default layout of our main.fxml so all we have to do is maybe um, remove this or you know you can uh, rename this into file chooser because we're, uh, we are trying to implement the file chooser in this particular video so this will be file chooser or you could maybe name it as choose a file whatever you want and of course the underlying code uh, it uses fx id is button uh, but you can change that of course to the preferred id that you want of course and we can resize our window drag the button below and of course we want to, we want to add a new element here which is the list view that we have uh, implemented before we can just drag and drop it here in our window, arrange our elements, okay, right here, and of course we can name or add ID to our list view, so this will be list view, okay, and then of course guys we can always um, save our fxml file, so file and then save, okay, and then guys we need to implement the main controller or we need to to update our main controller that java to actually include the btn or the button and of course our uh, list view okay so in order for us to do that uh, this this particular label is not present in our main uh, fxml file anymore so we have deleted that so of course we need to delete that also in here and of course this particular method handle button action but I think we we also have this in our main fxml file. Let's ju let's just try to check file chooser, and then we have the handle button action. Okay, we can just leave it like this, and of course remove this because we don't need that one right now. Now we can what we can do is add the button and of course the list view that we have added in our main fxml file. So all we have to do is add the annotation at fxml and um, the the button class so private and then of course button and the name or the id that we have added is button right and of course we have the list view so another fxml annotation and then private and of course the list view which has the name of or the ID of list view. So now we need to import this two classes, the list view and the button class. And of course, now we can um, handle the action. If every time we click on the button, uh, it should open up a file chooser, and then we can have the option, or we will have an option to click and select um, files from our computer system so inside this handle button action we can check 
we can add an if statement here so if event and then get get source equals uh, button that we have added for our file chooser we can define the class here file chooser and then the name is fc and then new file chooser so basically this is the class that we want to use if we want to work with the file chooser um, element in javafx so basically we, what we want now is to import this element javafx uh, stage and then file chooser okay and then right after this line we can uh, add file and then selected file and equals the object of our file chooser and then show open dialog and then we can set it to null for now okay and then of course we can um, check import this first java io that file and then we can check if the selected file is not null or null so first we're going to check if selected file is not equal to null so basically we're just checking if the user selected a certain file from the computer system so what we can do now is to get the item that has been selected and display it in our list view okay so basically what we can do here is list view and then get items and then of course we can add the new item or the new file that has been selected by the user so selected file and then we can get the name okay we can get the name otherwise we can display um, we can display that the file does not exist so file does not exist okay file does not exist now we can try to run our application right we can clean and build our uh, application and then we can try to run our JavaFX application so let's try that run and it should work and we have the list view and of course the button for our file chooser okay now every time you click on this file chooser button it should open up a uh, I mean the file chooser dialog and then we can click on or select um, maybe pictures from our uh, file system or save uh, save pictures let's try to find maybe in desktop okay can click on this and then open so it should you know display the name of the chosen file or the selected file from our computer system so basically uh, what we have now is an application that if we try to click on the file chooser and select file from our computer system and then uh, open that file up and then we can see the name of that you know file in our list view uh, element and if you try to click on another one or select on another picture it should display or you know appended into our list view element so um, we can also set the initial directory of our uh, file chooser so basically for now uh, if you try to click on the file chooser so it's going to open the my computer or this PC but actually we can um, set the default of this every time we click on the file chooser so now let's create a new uh, directory so for example samux code um, javafx okay and then we can add files here maybe text document okay and then we can you know get the path of this um, file or directory so for example getting the properties and then we can see that uh, the location is 
users, admin, and the desktop, and then of course the name of the directory directory that we have created, which is Cmax Code and JavaFX. Okay, so we can do that, or we can set that into our files user default uh, initial directory. So let's go back to our um, application or NetBeans IDE and let's try to set the default directory for our file chooser. So after defining the object file chooser, we can set the initial directory. So set initial directory and then of course it's going to take a new file and of course we need to paste the location that we have from the uh, computer system, the, the the directory that we have created earlier. So Samax code and then JavaFX. Now we can also instead of getting the name of the file, we can get the absolute path of the file. So instead of getting the name or the actual name of the file that have that has been selected, so we can get the absolute path and display it in our list view. So get absolute uh, path like this and then save our main controller that Java and we can clean and build our project and then run our application right now and choose or you can click on the file chooser and as you can see it open up the the initial directory some actual java effects that we have defined earlier and if we try to click on the file and open the file up and as you can see it returns the actual location or absolute path of the files that has been selected by the user okay we can also try to filter out the extension of the files that uh, should be selected so for example if we want the user to select only the images file or pdf files we can do that in our application so let's go back to our um, netbeans ide and then right after the um, setting of initial directory we can add uh, or we can use the uh, file chooser object right here and then uh, s filter out the extension of the file so in order for us to do that use the FC or file chooser object and then get extension filters and then of course we can um, use the method add all and then of course the uh, class new extension filter new extension filter and then of course um, the two parameters to display so for example pdf files and the second parameter is the actual extension of the file so for example we're just only setting or we're only getting the PDF files from our computer system. So now we can import this. Okay. And then we can try to run our application once again. And it should filter out any other um, files but not the PDF files. So let's try to find PDF files. As you can see here, we have displayed PDF files and of course the, the actual uh, extension so I think I don't have PDF files uh, in here but I can you know create a new PDF files for now so that we can select it in our JavaFX application so I'm just going to create a new blank PDF files and then I'm going to save it into our um, default or initial directory that we have created so it should be PDF file okay so now if we go to desktop and then of course some Xcode Java effects there you go a PDF file um, is shown and then of course we can click on that and open that one up and then it should display the PDF files or the actual or absolute path of the PDF file and of course we can do the same with other file types so for example we only have or we only want to uh, accept uh, PNG files so instead of 
PDF files, it should say image files, and then the actual um, extension is .png. Okay, and we can try to run our application once again. Run, and of course, file chooser, and then as you can see, we don't have any element here, but in actual computer system or a computer file system, we have the PDF file, right? If we go to our uh, default default directory, you can see the PDF file and of course the text file, which is not present if we try to open up in our JavaFX file chooser application, because we filter out other you know file types but not the PNG file. So let's try to find PNG files here. Maybe we can try in downloads. Okay, so for example, this one. So if we go back to our application, we can see that the PNG file has been selected and we can see the absolute path of the selected file. Okay, now if we want to allow users to select multiple files, we can also do that in our JavaFX application or uh, file chooser JavaFX application. So um, in here in line 38, we have file and then selected file and file chooser show open dialog. So instead of using the show open dialog, we can use uh, show open multiple dialog. Okay. So show open multiple dialog. And of course, it's going to require that we use a certain list instead of just using the file so it should be list okay list of file of course and uh, we should you know import this okay and then we're going to use this um, selected file to iterate the file that has been selected by the user so for example we can add a for loop here so for loop and then we can define int x equals to zero and then x is less than the selected uh, selected files that size okay and selected files okay and then x plus plus and then, of course, inside this for loop, we need to display the actual files that has been selected into our list view object or element. So, selected files and then get x. So, uh, get the individual file and then, of course, get the absolute uh, path of that particular file. Okay. So basically, we can save our main controller that Java file and then we can clean and build our application and um, we can run our project once again. And if we try to click on our select file or file chooser, we can uh, select multiple files in here or, you know, we can select all these files and then click on open and it's going to um, display the absolute path of those files that has been selected by us okay so i think that's all there is to it guys for this tutorial and i hope you learned something about how to handle or how to use a uh, file chooser in java effects application so again guys thank you for watching and see you in the next video